and freaking so much. I noticed that like my go-to expletive, since I don't curse and everything, is freaking. And so I gotta stop saying that. The temperature's rising in here, but for real though, comment down below, what should I say instead of freak? Or freaking, or freak, which I go to. I felt like a really long drive. Did it feel like a long drive to you? It did. It felt super long, but we're at freaking Florida Extreme Fitness Center, about to walk in. We handled pre a few minutes ago. So today, we took the Rex pre, baby, because um, I needed energy. I took <clears throat> a scoop and a half of this for the freaking energy. So Rex pre, and then also two arachidonic acid pills. I only take these twice a week because they make you like extra sore, but they give you a good pump. So yeah, Code Marsh for huge subs. And if you don't want to get those, then just get these little babies, the magnified pump pills. I think we're going to train back today, so hopefully we'll get a fat pump. Yeah, if you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and freaking subscribe. And uh, like the video, please. You guys have been doing pretty good with that lately. 600 likes. 600 likes. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. 600 likes. Ready to go Country. get this, this darn pump. We get a, a fat behind pump. A big bath pump. A big what? Bath. I don't know why I feel weird. Maybe it's because I have to poop. Oh, which is a good thing. I do have to poop. I've been focusing a lot on that recently. Me and him been both been working on our poops, <laughs> you know, analyzing it. I analyze his, he analyzes mine. We like, you know, we, we we, I'm kidding. But seriously, pooping is important, guys. <laughs> hey, what would happen if I took this? Well, so basically, you'll just get like a skin tearing fat, uh, like phallus like pump, like veiny and <laughs> and girthy. Like you'll just get the girthiest <laughs> pump. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention Q&A coming later in this video. I put a question box on my Instagram story, so hopefully we can get some decent questions in there. Dang, that man is handsome. Like handsome Squidward. Doesn't that look so good? I think it makes you look like 10 times more handsome. You know what yeah. I mean? So let's just go to the gym. Dude, just got like, I actually had a really good poop. I just took a dump and he just took a, just a piss. <laughs> took, took a piss. But uh, I think we're gonna take some handsome pictures. Ready? One, two, three. But yeah, now that you know that we're handsome, let's go get jacked. Right, Hagen? Yeah. Let's get jacked. Dude, I just want a hot wife. I want to get jacked. I want to be able to give 
all kinds of like money and things to my friends and people that I love and just to freaking live my life on the beach and be aesthetic. So you know, also the hot wife thing that'd be up to. Am I going to be competing? I think you should do it. You think I should do it? Yeah. So um, if I were to compete, I would do classic. Because classic is dope and men's physique is kind of boring. But probably not ever gonna compete. Uh, so there's your easy answer. Um, I don't have a genetic structure to compete, but if I did compete, it'd be in freaking classic. And Hagen will not be competing um, as he is too big. Favorite anime. Favorite anime. I would have to go with like Scooby Doo or like, <laughs> Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb is honestly yeah. dope. That was funny, Hagen. Look at you. See, I have a personality, so he does have a personality. But yeah. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is dope, so go watch that. What about love life? Should, Should we talk about our love lives? Our love lives don't exist. <laughs> hey, wait a second. I see like 12 girls a day, at least, in public and stuff. But honestly, I'm not, not in a rush to get in a relationship or anything right now, because like, to be honest, most of the girls out there like, suck. I'm not like talking about anybody in particular, but like I see so much crap when I go on TikTok about how bad girls are and how bad dating is in like 2021 so yeah I'm, really, I'm not like in a rush but yeah no no chicks we got no broads right now honestly we could get girls if we wanted to right so it's like if we wanted to we could like do it really freaking easy um we just like choose not to so <clears throat> Next question, does code MARSH really get you a 10% discount on raw gear? It actually freaking does. Uh, so use my codes, dude, so we can pay the rent in this freaking apartment. Thank you so much. You guys actually are sick. I appreciate that, by the way. Uh, where do you get your confidence from? I thought I'd say Walmart's a good place. Yeah. <laughs> it's like probably out of stock right now. But Dollar General has it too. But for real, where do I get my confidence? Yeah, don't give a crap like what all these people think. Like there's so many people from my hometown that are like, oh my gosh, that Marshall dude, isn't he like gay or something? But yeah, like don't just don't don't care what anybody thinks about you. Just do do it, do you man. Just do you and you're live gonna your life. Life. live your life. Be the pilot of your own life. That's from Hagen Heisman. How did you get sponsored by Royer? Okay, so this is one of the things I wanted to talk about. I get this question literally freaking every day. How do you get sponsored? And the answer to that is stop worrying about getting sponsorships, bro. Literally just post content because you love doing fitness. And once you have grown your platforms and you're not focused on getting the sponsorships and you just focus on growing yourself and growing your platforms, like these companies will notice you. You know, Bradley Martin freaking noticed me when I had like almost no followers on Instagram um, and I reached out and was like, yeah, do you want to like part of raw gear and stuff? And I was like, I mean, sure, yeah, yes. And now <laughs> a year later, I'm like a top seller for raw gear, you know, doing great. And you guys use my freaking codes all the time. And it means a ton to me. So yeah, that's how you get sponsorships, bro. You don't have to worry about, oh, do I need to reach out to them? Do I need to message them? Literally do your thing, homie, and they'll reach out to you. What was your first job? Okay, so my first job, technically my first job was cutting grass. So basically in seventh grade, I was homeschooled, but I had to pay for an English teacher. So I had to find some way to make money uh, to pay this freaking English teacher. So I literally walked around my neighborhood and I was like asking all the neighbors like, yo, like, can I like, cut your grass? Like, do you need somebody to cut your grass? <laughs> oh my God. Then I got him a job at the gym. He got me the job at this awful gym. So that job was awful. I worked at um, a college. I was a tutor uh, when I was 16 and 17. Uh, I tutored like college students because I'm like freaking smart and stuff. No, but um, yeah. We also I, set up fireworks stands. Yeah, we also worked for TNT Fireworks for a little while. But yeah, those were like my first jobs, I guess. Oh, this is a good one. This is a really good one. How to pick up a gym girl. How do we get the gym girls? Kind of one of those things that's like really controversial. I've seen TikToks where girls are like, yes, like we like being approached in the gym. And then I've seen TikToks where like, oh my gosh, stop freaking talking to me in the gym. I just want to work out. You know what I mean? So it's like, so you walk in the gym, take off your shirt, reflex, and then all the honeys run to you. Honestly, bro, people overcomplicate this stuff. You know, we walked into the gym tomorrow and somebody said, you have to pick up a girl, talk to a girl, get her phone number. First thing I would go to is wait until they're doing a set, right? Wait till they're pushing, you know, heavy weight or whatever. They're doing an intense set. Literally just walk by, <laughs> reach out your fist and give them like a quick fist bump, you know, while they're doing the exercise and then keep walking. And then later on, 
whenever you're like walking by each other's or each other or whatever, just be like, yo, what's your name? I noticed you were, you know, leg pressing 890 pounds. You know, that's pretty sick. You know, and they're gonna be like, oh, well, thank you. My name's Marshall and I'm famous. My name's Marshall and I have like 65,000 followers <laughs> on Instagram. Um, so do you want to like dip? <laughs> In actuality, literally it's that simple. Like literally wait till they're doing something cool, right? They're pushing, they're doing an intense set. Literally just give them a little fist bump, a little fist bump. That little connection, it doesn't hinder their workout. The general rule is that you don't mess with girls while they're working yeah. out. Like, Basically let them notice you. Don't yeah. try to go to them. You know, like I said, the dude will fist bump thing. If they notice you, they'll stop. If the girl's into you, like she'll notice you. You know what I mean? So like, that's kind of like my advice on that. It's like 50-50, you know what I mean? It's unless they notice you, you catch them, you know, like peeping around the side of the leg press machine like, oh, he's kind of cute. Is he curling 90s? Wow. You know what I mean? If you see that and it's like obvious and it's like, yeah, shoot your shot. You know, but if it's like somebody who maybe you don't know if they've noticed you, just fist bump. Do the fist bump thing. I'm telling you, it works. I hope you guys freaking enjoyed Ugh, this little QA. My back's keep hurting. But uh, yeah, like I said, me and Hagen, we're freaking both sending this YouTube thing to the moon, baby. Uh, road to 100K subs in 2022, baby. It's gonna freaking happen. We're gonna nail it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Leave a like and stuff. And thanks for watching, dudes. Um, yeah, peace.